As more accounts of egregious abuses continue to pour out of the shadowy entertainment industry, the plight of the child star and the negative impacts of premature celebrity have become increasingly apparent. Zac Efron After being catapulted to fame and the cover of countless issues of Tiger Beat magazine through his role as Troy Bolton in Disney Channel's High School Musical in 2006, Efron was forever crystallized as an undeniable teen idol. Following a string of roles in commercially and critically successful movies like Hairspray and Seventeen Again, Efron's alcohol and substance abuse issues became public in 2013 when he was admitted to rehab. Following two stints in rehab and participation in Alcoholics Anonymous, Efron has been able to maintain his sobriety since 2013. Drew Barrymore Barrymore has long been incredibly candid surrounding her lifelong battle with sobriety, detailing her development of a cocaine addiction at the age of 12 in her 1990 memoir Little Girl Lost. Following a slew of increasingly notorious appearances in the famed Studio 54, Barrymore entered rehab at the age of 14 and was granted legal emancipation from her parents shortly after she completed her stay. Lindsay Lohan Perhaps one of the most heavily maligned pop culture figures of the early 2000s, Lohan's storied past with alcoholism and drug abuse remained a locus of tabloid fodder well through the end of the decade. Following a plethora of stints in rehab and legal trouble, Lohan was the subject of Oprah's dubiously ethical docuseries Lindsay in 2013, chronicling her journey to sobriety and emergence from the wreckage of her presently tanked career. The Mean Girls star has maintained her sobriety since the series debuted and has been promoting her return to acting in Netflix's Falling for Christmas, Out Now. Demi Lovato Lovato first entered treatment for drug and alcohol abuse shortly after the release of the massively successful Camp Rock 2 and her subsequent withdrawal from the Jonas Brothers, live in concert tour following a physical altercation with a backup dancer. The Camp Rock star has revealed she began abusing opiates by the age of 13 and had developed an addiction to cocaine by 17. In mid-2018, Lovato was rushed to the hospital and would later be admitted to an inpatient drug treatment program following a nearly fatal opiate overdose in her Los Angeles home. Lovato's overdose received massive media coverage, leading her to become the most googled person of 2018, eclipsing figures like Meghan Markle and Brett Kavanaugh. Natasha Lyonne Following her eviction in 2005 from landlord and fellow actor Michael Rappaport, Leon was admitted to a Manhattan rehabilitation facility for the treatment of a methadone and heroin addiction. When the Russian doll actress was admitted she'd suffered a collapsed lung and a heart infection, the latter of which would require open heart surgery in 2012. Britney Spears. Like Bynes, Spears's parents were granted conservatorship and control of her finances after her rights to visitation with her children were revoked when she'd refused to release her sons into the custody of former husband Kevin Fadeline. Fadeline would subsequently be given sole custody of the couple's children while Spears was placed on an involuntary psychiatric hold at the Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center. Spears's conservatorship would remain in place for more than a decade, only being relinquished following intense media scrutiny stemming the genesis of the hashtag Free Britney movement in 2019. A judge would rule to end the conservatorship in late 2021. Shortly after the termination of her conservatorship, the toxic singer was reported to have inked a $15 million book deal, one of the largest of all time, second only to former President Bill Clinton's deal for his 2004 book My Life. Selena Gomez Gomez has long been candid about her struggles with anxiety and depression, revealing in 2020 that she'd recently been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. The Wizards of Waverly Place actor completed her first of three stints in rehab after checking herself into an Arizona treatment center in January 2014. Gomez has amassed nearly 350 million Instagram followers, millions more than the entirety of the US population, and has cited her celebrity as a major exacerbator of her mental health challenges. Shia LaBeouf The Even Stevens actor turned dilettante performance artist has had a long and litigious history of alcoholism since his first arrest in 2014. LaBeouf would be arrested again in Savannah, Georgia and charged with public intoxication, disorderly conduct, and obstruction and would be subsequently ordered by a judge to seek treatment for his substance abuse problems. The Transformers star would enter treatment for a third time following self-substantiated allegations of abuse from former girlfriend and British singer FKA Twigs in late 2020. Edward Furlong The Terminator 2 star experienced struggles with alcoholism and drug addiction throughout the entirety of his career, first entering rehab in October 2000 after admitting to abusing cocaine and heroin. By the time Furlong had attended rehab and gotten sober in 2013, he'd faced multiple charges of domestic abuse and a litany of drug charges.
Robert Downey Jr. The Iron Man star achieved success early in his career, starring in his first film by the age of five. In the actor's later years, he faced legal issues surrounding his drug addiction, resulting in him being fired from the TV show Ally McBeal first in 2000 and again in 2001. Since getting sober in 2003, Downey Jr. has spoken at length regarding the significant impact his time incarcerated had on him and would later sit on the board of California's Anti-Recidivism Coalition, a nonprofit organization advocating for criminal justice reform. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.